The Nebula Generator now comes with a control panel that can manage all aspects of the Nebula, allowing you to edit parameters more quickly than ever before. New cycles improvements also mean that Nebula can now be more effectively rendered at higher resolutions with greater speed. You can still use the Nebula Generator file setup without the panel, but instead of having to navigate through the documented shader nodes and particle settings, you can now access all the frequently used parameters in one place. This has a number of advantages, such as being able to quickly adjust the lighting, shape and colour of the nebula. The panel is available free for existing users as an add-on that, once installed, will appear as a side tab in the viewport properties. Note that the panel only appears when a nebula generator blend file is open. To install the panel add-on, go to Edit Preferences and select the Add-ons tab on the left if it is not already. Select the Install button along the top. This will open a file dialog where you should navigate to where you have downloaded the Nebula Generator Control Panel zip file. This file should not be unzipped. Then, Click the Install Add-on button. Make sure the checkbox next to the add-on entry is ticked. To get started, you will need to download and open one of the latest Nebula Generator's blend files, which have now been updated for the panel. You will not be able to see or use the panel otherwise. If you cannot see any tabs on the right-hand side of the viewport, press the N key. Navigate to the tab named Nebula Generator. Each section controls a different aspect of the nebula. The stars section controls the number and random placement of the stars. Note that the large stars provide the main lighting of the nebula and the small stars provide background and depth. Change the colours of the lighting, clouds and small stars separately in the colours section. Note you can also change the hue, saturation and value of the colours either for individual parts of the clouds or overall. The density section controls the thickness and abundance of the clouds in the nebula based on the parameters in the noise section which controls the overall shape of the clouds. To get a variety of different cloud effects change the parameters in the noise section these parameters are described in further detail in the documentation linked in the description. The Transform section allows you to move, rotate and scale the nebula so that you can customise the position of the effect to your liking. Finally, the Quality section allows you to control all the key parameters in one place when rendering the nebula and switch between EV and Cycles rendering engines in one go. Blender 3 brings a host of improvements to cycles in terms of speed and effectiveness. Advice on whether to choose EV, cycles or both is provided in the documentation. We hope you'll find this panel useful and if you have any questions or suggestions about the panel, don't hesitate to get in touch either via Blender Market or by emailing info at configurate.net. Thanks for listening.